president of the House of Iraqi Expertise Foundations. Thank you so much for speaking to us on this uh, busy day there in Baghdad. So, you know, 15 protesters have been killed since the violence uh, started there on Monday. And plus, we've just heard, Ahmed, that uh, security forces say four rockets landed in Baghdad's green zone. So how does all of this stop? Uh, good morning. Well, actually, what's happened uh, yesterday, uh, uh, it started from, let's say, from 4 p.m. Uh, and until now, it's, it's not settled. Uh, what's happened is actually uh, uh, it was a response uh, for the resignation of Sayyid Muqtada Sadr in a way or another. It's the resignation, it's a green light that it's not me, it's you and with the people. There is no Sadrist anymore, uh, which means that the coordination frame now in a very uh, dangerous uh, situation because there is no way to negotiate with Sayyid Muqtada Sadr. This is the main issue. Now, all those things, I think it's, it, it happened because of three main things. Number one, we're all waiting for the decision of the federal court about dissolving the parliament. Dissolving the parliament is the major issue for uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sayyid Sadr because he will not accept a parliament with a majority of the coordination frame that can attack him, even if the prime minister will be Sadr. The second thing is that we are now talking about some sort of uh, 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 an, a, a military conflict. It's not anymore uh, a peaceful uh, conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, that means we are actually staging for the second level of, uh, of the crisis. The third thing, which is also, uh, it looks like, obvious, is that uh, the, the Shia Marjaya, uh, the, the Shia authorities, religious uh, authorities in Najaf until now didn't uh, tell anyone or they didn't speak about anything uh, the, 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 or announce any declaration about what's happened yesterday. It show you that eventually the war or at least the conflict, the military conflict, is going to be is going to be uh, uh, started again today. And let us let us wait for the federal court decision. Mm -hmm. By the way, the federal court decision will be online. It will not be okay. as a session. So you, you're using the words war and military conflict starting again. This is a very concerning and, and very strong words, Ahmed. Um, just, you know, we heard there in, in the package earlier, we heard um, Assad's supporters there saying, we're waiting for direction and we are not retreating. Um, how much influence does he still have, and why is he on a on a hunger strike? Well, uh, it shows you how much uh, the conflict has already uh, uh, reached a red line. Uh, because what Sayyid Muqtada uh, announced yesterday of resignation, mm -hmm. food strike, and so on, it shows you that, uh, in a way or another, it's a signal for his supporters to go forward, to uh, stay uh, on on the ground, mm -hmm. and. Uh, start to manage all those things. I mean, all those uh, conflict things with the with his opponents, the coordination frame. In a way, to escalate, start to escalate until reaching in a point that the others, which is the coordination frame, will raise the white flag in a way or another. Ahmed Rushdie, really great to get to your uh, perspective to what we're seeing there in Baghdad. Thank you so much, uh, President of the House of Iraqi Expertise Foundation.